All right, here we go. Let's take a look at the next section here. We are going to compare some proportions. It's going to be awesome. It's the last section of the chapter. Let's wrap this bad boy up. Nothing new here. We're just going to kind of do the same thing, but we're going to look at uh, comparing two different proportions, see how they, they stack up. So we're going to start with a three-point contest. You may be thinking, yeah, I'm pretty sure Steph Curry is going to win or maybe Lillard or one of these guys. What about Mr. Sullivan? He has a pretty good shot. Uh, maybe not. Uh, of winning or Mr. Kelly. These guys want to be in the three-point contest. So we're going to figure out, hey, who's a better shooter, Mr. Kelly or Mr. Sullivan? Mr. Sullivan looked pretty cool in collecting that picture. He's pretty calm about it. Let's figure it out. So they go out and they're having a little practice round and Sully makes, it records his shots made and shots attempted. So he's making two out of three, four out of six, 10 out of 15, writes that down. Mr. Kelly, on the other hand, since he's a math teacher, just writes an equation. He says this is how many shots he makes. So both these guys are proportional. I'm going to tell you their stuff is proportional. Let's go ahead. I'm, I want to see who the better shooter is. Who is better, Sully or Kelly? Well, it's hard to compare a table to an equation. So what I'm going to do is make them both an equation. So let's start with Sully. Remember, to make an equation, we need to find K. And equations take the form of y equals kx. That's why we're writing so many equations. We need to write this, be able to do this, uh, no problem. So y equals kx. Let's just find the k here. What is the k? Remember, k is your y value over your x value. So we're going to say his shots attempted is the x. His shots made is the y. So really, he makes two out of three shots. There's that ratio or that fraction. You could also say he makes four out of six. And you could also say he makes 10 out of 15 because it's proportional this is all the same fraction. It's just been reduced. So I'll use the reduce form and say his k is 2 thirds x. So there is the equation for Mr. Sullivan, y equals 2 thirds x. Luckily, Kelly's already in an equation, so that's cool. Now I just got to compare them. Yeah, it's kind of hard for me to compare these to say who's better because he's a fraction, he's a decimal. So I'm going to go ahead and decimalize this first one. I'm not really sure that's a word to decimalize, but you know what? We're going to do it. What is 2 divided by 3? If I make 2 out of 3, you're making 0.66666666666 repeating. So really, you can write this as y equals 0 0.6 repeating. Put that little bar up top. That means it goes forever and ever and ever. So now, what's, what's bigger here, 0.7 or 0.6? Mr. Kelly looks like the better shooter. He's going to win the contest. He's making more shots. If you're feeling good about this, you could even wrote this as a fraction. Mr. Kelly's making 7 out of 10, or he's making 70%. So it all goes back to a fraction is a decimal, is a percent. There we go. Awesome. Now I want to kind of use these equations or apply it. Uh, if they only get 20 shots, who's going to win? We know it's Kelly. Kelly's always going to win. But by how much? So I'm going to just use the equation. I've got this equation. So if I give them 20 shots, what am I giving them? Attempts or makes? I'm giving them attempts. So this is just a fancy way of saying, hey, if x is 20, what is y? So don't freak out. It's just kind of put it in some kind of context. So we're going to say, hey, the equation is y equals 2 thirds x. What is x? x in this case is 20. Okay, now we come over here to Mr. Sullivan. If we give him 20 shots, how many is he going to make? He's going to, we're going to put a little 20 in there. And let's see what happens here. So let's start with this. What is 2 thirds times 20? I don't think this is going to be pretty here. Bummer. So I've got my two thirds, uh, and I'm going to times it by 20. You could easily say it's 40 thirds if you want. If you want to do this uh, by hand, you can say, oh, yeah, this is going to be y equals 40 thirds. Remember, multiply across the top and the bottom, which turns out to be 13.3 repeating. Now, can you hit a third of a shot? No. I've never seen somebody make a third of a three pointer. Would that be a one pointer? Hmm. Deep thoughts there. Uh, but in theory, that's what would happen. So if there was a 20-point thing, we'd expect something about this to happen if he's always making two out of three. Uh, how about this guy over here? This should work out friendlier because if you go seven times 20, you get 140. 140 over 10 is just 14. So he's going to make 14 shots. He's going to make 13.3 shots. So who wins? Well, Kelly's going to win. Let's close this up. Kelly's going to win. By how much? Well, we got to subtract him. we got to say Kelly's 14. Sully is 13.33333. So that means he makes two, he'll beat him by two thirds of a shot. So I know that can't really happen um, because of that, but in theory, that's what would happen. We're using this to predict what would happen. Awesome. We only have two more problems. Let's knock these bad boys out. So the skill we really need to focus on this section is writing an equation from a table. So we have to get really good at this. So I know in the past we've just found. The idea is finding this k, this y over x. So we're back to this old game again. And 
I'm gonna see, ooh, is this proportional? Well, it's proportional if the k is the same. So is 16 over five the same as 48 over 15, which is the same over 64 over 20? It must work for all of these to be proportional. So here you're gonna need to kind of decimify, if you will. You need to kind of type these bad boys in. So there's 16 divided by five. It is 3.2. What is 48 divided by 15? It is 3.2. What is 64 divided by 20? Boom, there it is, they're all 3.2. So we're pretty cool here. These, if you divide them, are all 3.2. You could also just reduce the fraction. They all reduce to uh, what? Uh, the first one is reduced. They'll reduce to 16 over five. Awesome, so yes, this is proportional. If it is proportional, then I can write my equation, y equals kx. That is a terrible looking y. I'm gonna try that bad boy again. So I've got y equals kx, I've got y equals I'm gonna use the decimal, 3.2x. Totally use a decimal, you could have used 16 fifths, whatever, either way is cool. All right, let's try this bad boy. So what am I comparing here? I'm comparing the y over the x. So is three over five, is that the same thing as 4.8 over eight? Woo, and is that the same thing as 10 over 16? So they all have to work to be proportional. That's what makes it that straight line. That's what makes it go through the origin. So let me move my calculator over and let's check these out. So again, if you prefer reducing, you can reduce, but I like, I like to make things decimal. So first one, 0.6. Does the second one match? So exciting, it's kind of like a little game, does it match? Is 4.8 over eight? It is 0.6, yay, we're good, we're good. How about 10 divided by 16? Oh, bummer, it was so close. So we had 0.6, we had 0.6, but then we had 0.625. This is not a match. Those two do not equal. Hey, look at that inequality. They don't equal each other. Use that from last chapter. <clears throat> so it's not proportional. If it's not proportional, we're not gonna write the equations. There are, maybe later on, we're gonna look at some things there, but for us, not writing the equation, we're only writing it with proportional and K. Awesome, here we go. Let's wrap this up with the finale. This is just one big monster comparison. We are gonna compare uh, baking company, Sully Sweets to Kelly Confections to the BBG. So look at these, one's a verbal, one's a table, one's a graph, bummer. I want to compare them quickly to see who's baking cakes the fastest. So I want equations. I want Y equals KX. So let's do it, let's do Y equals KX. If you make five cakes every three hours, what is your K? You're baking five cakes every three hours. So the equation will be what? y equals 5 thirds x. I love the verbal, boom. That's them making cakes. How about this, if I give you a table, remember this is x and y. So if I got my x and y, I'm doing the same thing. I'm saying 3.5 over two, or you can do 14 over eight, or you can do 21 over 12. When I give you these little situations, where you don't have to check for proportionality, they're gonna be proportional. I will give you proportions, I'll write in the directions. Pick any one of those. Let's divide that bad boy out. What is, uh, what do we got there? The first one, 14 divided by eight. I'll mix it up a little bit. Ooh, let me clear this out. 14 divided by eight is 1.75. So that's cool. So this one's gonna be 1.75. If you wanna reduce that fraction, you could've used that too. Excellent. And then the old BBG, breast baking goods. Uh, now we got the graph, so back to the graph from last section. So pick a point, I don't care, this point is over two up three. You could use the point four makes six. You could use the point six makes nine. So any one of these, these are just points in the table. Don't freak out, if you prefer to think about a table, it's a table, X and Y, here it is. Two is making three, there it is, boom. Four is making six, and six is making nine. If some people love the tables, use the table. These are all points in the table. That's that straight line through the origin. Pick any points you want. I'm just gonna use the first one. I'm gonna use y equals three over two x. Now you may be thinking, why didn't I do three over five? Well, you have to be careful because in this situation, x is time. So it's not wrong to do three over five. It's just gonna be a different problem and all these will be different uh, to do it. And it's kind of just not the way we think about it. We like to talk about, I make five cakes every three hours. Not every three hours, five cakes, just kind of different. But you could do it. This is just much easier, so define your little X and Y here. Also, something weird that could happen is, sometimes we'll use something like this. Will this freak you out? C equals 1.75 uh, T or H, maybe. And why are we doing this? We're saying the cakes 
in hours. So a lot of times we'll switch X and Y to say, oh yeah, the cakes being made is five cakes every three hours. So don't freak out. I'm gonna kind of mix that in there a little bit. Uh, not Doesn't always have to be X and Y. It can be different letters. All right, let's wrap this up with the final thing. How long to bake 30 cakes? So when you read these little situations, basically I'm asking you, is this X or Y? How long will it to bake 30 cakes? Cakes in this case is the Y value. Y is 30. The number of cakes, see it? The number of cakes right here is the Y value, or that's why we switch to C and H. You can see C is the cakes, H is the hour. So let's go through, uh, I'm, I'm gonna put these up here real quick. See if you can figure this out. If I plug these in here, I've got 30 cakes is 5 thirds X. I've got 30 cakes equals 1.75 X. And I've got what, 30 cakes is 3 halves X. So we're setting the Y value equal to this. Um, and we probably, I'm gonna ask you something, who's fastest cake maker? So before I solve those, let's go back and make the fastest cake maker. So I like the decimals. So can you make these decimals real quick? So who's making cakes the fastest? Uh, five divided by three is 1.6 repeating. So if I wanna look at his as a decimal, sorry, I'm like writing things everywhere. We've got stuff everywhere, 1.6, x 1.6 repeating x so there's a decimal version he's already decimal three divided by two i know is one and a half so 1.5 x so when they're decimals who is the fastest cake baking company looks like kelly ah, kelly's on a roll today is 1.7 he's the 1.75 which is bigger than 1.5 which is bigger than 1.66 so he's baking cakes fastest the reason i want to know that is so when i look down here he should get to 30 cakes the fastest so maybe real quick pause this Try to solve these three real quick, just for some closure here. Then I'll flash the answers up and see how you did. All right, here we go. There are the answers there. I had uh, Sully getting 18 hours to make those cakes. Kelly, Mr. Kelly doing 17.14 hours. And I just kind of cut this off at two decimal places. Um, but in this case, the decimal makes sense. You can have 0.14 hours. So definitely makes sense in this problem. Uh, and then at the end here, Brust Baking Goods, 20 hours. Looks like Mr. Brust is the slowest. That's a bummer. They bet they're good cakes, though. Um, there we go. There are all the ways we're going to compare. We got the verbal, we got the table, we got the graph, we got the equation. So we're going to compare all of those. Good luck on the practice. Good luck on the mastery check. Peace out.